you're going to take some water, a gallon of 20 liters, and you read on it, Fatiha, Ayat al-Kursi, Qulhu Allahu Ahad, Al-Falaq An-Nas, plus three special verses to remove the sihr. It is the verses of Musa alayhi salam with the sorcerers of Fir'aun. It is where Allah Ta'ala says that Allah destroys the sihr by His words. It is these words of Quran that break the sihr and remove the sihr. So it is in Surah Al-A'raf, وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَىٰ نَلْقِ عَصَاكَ فَإِذَا هِيَا تَلْقَفُ مَا يَفِكُونَ 117 to 122. And in Surah Yunus, فَلَمَّا أَلْقَ وَقَالَ مُوسَىٰ مَا جِئْتُمْ بِهِ السِّحْرِ 81 and 82. And in Surah Taha, قُلْنَا لَا تَخَفْ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْأَعْلَىٰ from 68 to 70. So all these verses, you're going to read them 11 times each. فاتحة آية الكرسي قل هو الله حد الفلاق الناس وسورة الأعراف 117 to 122 سورة يونس 81 82 and سورة طه 68 to 70. So when you have read this on the water, that water will remove the jinn, sihr, and evil lie by the will of Allah تبارك وتعالى. So what are you going to do with it? You're going to drink from it. You're going to bathe with it. So each night you take one bottle of a, of a liter and a half. You can heat it if you want to in the microwave or take it cold. You will empty it on your body. You can take a shower before or just directly uh, empty it on you. So you can wash in the bath or the shower, but you have to put a basin under you to collect that water to throw it outside in the the garden so that it does not go with the waste and you're going to wash this way for 12 days and you're also going to spray your house so you put the water in a sprayer and you spray all the house the walls the roof the earth the ground uh, the doors and the windows if you have a shop or a business or whatever workplace or vehicles that are not working because of sihir so you're going to spray them all with that water and it's going to go uh, so I'm going to explain to you about this method, what does it mean reading Quran in water to drink and bathe and spray your house is much more efficient than only reading in the house. The difference between both is like if you are hot and you're cooling yourself down with a fan and now you're cooling yourself down with a shower. So the shower will cool you down much more than the fan. This is how effective is reading Quran on water to drink and bathe and spray your house compared to just reading in the house. And also these verses, so the, the dua you find in hadith to protect yourself is reading Quran, also reading in your hands to wipe yourself, so that is protections. But once you are hurt, the protections now are not enough. You have to remove that thing that has happened to you. So this is why you must move on to treatment. And this is why you must do this procedure with water to remove what has got on you or in your house. Um, and also these verses I have given you, they are the essential verses of Ruqya. So they are the capital verses. Then you can add much more verses of Quran that are in the Hadith, in the Ruqya books or in Manzil or whatever uh, uh, verses you want or Dua of Prophet Sallallahu or you can read more than 11 times. So the more you add verses, the more you add Dua on it, the more the power of Quran will add into it. Uh, so even if you have a big, big problem, just keep on reading more and more and more until it will go. I'll just give you an example. I went somewhere in Madagascar and there was one lady, one day all her head, all her uh, hair fell off. Uh, and she got people to read on her 15,000 Ayat al-Kursi. I said 15,000, how is that possible? She said yeah, there are many of them and they read all night. You see, so, and alhamdulillah, it went away. So it is to tell you that even if the problem is very strong, just read more and more and more and more, and inshallah, it will overcome it. Also, when you read Quran on water, you can read on oil. So take um, uh, habba sauda oil or olive oil or any uh, massage oil or uh, um, she butter and you at the same time read on water, read on it. After you wash, after you bathe with the water, you're going to massage your body with that oil. So as long as the oil is on your body, the Quran is continuing to work on you. So you better do that before sleeping so that all night long the Quran will affect on you and insist in the places where you have pains, where you have skin problems. And also if you have uh, stomach pains, uh, you should buy sana leaves. 
it is recommended by Prophet ﷺ. He said, "Alaykum bi sana, walau marra fi sana, drink sana even once a year." And it is these leaves when you boil and drink, it will empty your stomach. Uh, so that's recommended by Prophet ﷺ once a year to to empty it. Uh, so when you so you're going to boil one full tablespoon of sana leaves with half a liter of Quranic water, and then you drink it uh, on empty stomach before eating in the morning. That's going to empty your stomach. If you have sihr, it's going to scrape it out and give you pain because it is stuck like glue and it needs to be scraped out hardly. So if it does give you pain, you understand you have eaten sihr, so you're going to drink it again and again every day until it gives you no more pain. So the day you drink it and you don't feel any pain, only diarrhea, you understand that the sihr is finished in your stomach. You see?